Hey guys, Jasmine Lee here. Today I want to talk to you about imposter syndrome. What is imposter syndrome, you might be wondering. It's something that you might have suffered from yourself. Basically, imposter syndrome is this very persistent, nagging fear that you might have that makes you minimize your accomplishments and kind of has you walking around a little afraid that someone might expose you as a fraud or someone who doesn't really know what they're talking about or whatever the case may be. If you need me to paint a picture for you, I'm going to use one of the most pertinent, pertinent, potent, uh, <laughs> pertinent poster child, say that three times fast, or what imposter syndrome could be depicted as now this is not what it is but this is like basically what other people do that paints that picture for me um i know i'm not explaining it right but wait just just stay with me i got you i got you okay so kim kardashian is a pop culture icon that's what i'd call it this woman has leveled up in more ways than one she's worth currently about 350 or 400 million dollars she has her own brands that venture off into personal merchandise apps um clothing beauty skincare uh well not skincare yet um fragrance and things of that nature i heard she was wanting to get into lingerie but people drug her so bad that she might have changed her mind who knows but then to add on to just the superficial things that people might label label her as now she's a criminal justice reform advocate now this woman has done so much influenced so much changed the way people think gotten herself herself in some of the most important and coveted rooms that you could be in and yet people still only want to recognize her ability to build this platform as a porn star what other people do to kim kardashian when they nag her and stuff like that is what you literally do to yourself when you have imposter syndrome so there's times for me personally where i second guess myself and it's like i literally know i can do it but i second guess myself um i doubt what i'm doing there's been castings i just didn't go to because i was just confidence was not there and I couldn't I couldn't bring you know that whole fake it till you make it attitude some days I just really don't feel like faking it and that's the hardest part for me about adulthood is feeling like the world still has to move and go on and you gotta be ready or you just get left like no one's really stopping to ask are you okay um you know do you need a hug do you need anything like can i help you no one's really doing that for each other yeah so my imposter syndrome has affected me in ways where it's basically i'm in a place of being stagnant with my modeling career there's a blog and this youtube channel even that i probably don't go as hard about sharing because i'm afraid that people won't support um, I'm afraid that people won't know what I'm talking about or people won't think I know what I'm talking about when I really do um, and I'm just afraid it's like no one needs that from the outside because you do it to yourself enough and I remember in one of my interviews way back when when I first started modeling and I chose this quote because this is something that I do still believe in and it's confidence is not everyone will like me confidence is what is it confidence is not everyone will like me confidence is something even if they don't like it's i gotta find it but basically that quote basically says it's basically saying confidence is not people liking you confidence is just carrying yourself and maintaining that big dick energy <laughs> regardless of who does and doesn't like you and that's true so yeah i'm just rebuilding mine and trying to figure my stuff out i want to start a business i want to go harder with my youtube channel i really just want to get myself in a position where by the time i'm like 30 or 35 i can honestly say that I'm proud of where I am. 
Now right now, it's not like I'm not proud of where I am, but I know my potential. And it's the energy that's there that you're not doing anything with. And so for that, I'd be disappointed in myself for knowing that I could be, do, and have so much more and I'm just not providing it to myself. And hopefully you guys have been there too. Hopefully you know what it's like to know I could have done better on that test or I could have went so much harder for that job interview or whatever it is. Like you just know, you know you, you feel it. It's a feeling that overcomes you. And so today I'm going to speak life into you guys. If you want that business, start it. Do your research. Make sure that you're legally covered and that you protect your intellectual property. Um, because I think a lot of people aren't doing that now and that's a reality that I feel is hard to face but a lot of people aren't doing that now so when you get stolen from from companies like ASOS or an H&M or a Forever 21 who has done it before when you get stolen from from all these other huge corporations you don't have any legal backing because you didn't do what it took to protect your intellectual property and so that's something that needs to be talked about but anyways we're gonna speak life into you um that business you want to start you're gonna start it i mean if you want to learn to cook if you want to learn to be a realtor if you want to learn to be a chef like anything you want to do the universe wants it for you i want it for you listen i'm people's biggest cheerleaders but yeah, like, imposter syndrome is a bitch, okay, to say the least. It's not fun. Um, and I think that I've really dealt with it more heavily these past few years than I have ever in my whole life. I've always, not that I've been super confident, but now that I'm lacking that little extra oomph, I look back and I'm like wow I was brave and I was fearless and I was so passionate and I want that back I want to be inspired I was literally inspired every day I was always creating um, and doing something in my zone and I was always around my friends my friends inspire me and I'm not spending as much time with y'all as I should so if y'all are watching this we need to link up <laughs> but my friends inspired me like the right friends fill you up and they make you feel like really full and whole and just your energy is not depleted like when people tweet and they say pay attention to how your energy responds to someone when they're around you that's so true if you're feeling drained when someone comes around or you are perfectly fine and all of a sudden you're lacking in motivation or whatever energy cannot be created or destroyed only transferred so please remember that that applies to people too um protect your energy and if someone's not right for you even if you love them be 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 strong enough vigilant enough to know that that's a boundary that you still have to set because your self-love and your self-preservation is going to matter more than you allowing something else um, outside of you to drain you or to take from you when you don't have it to give um but yeah that's my little blurb i hope you guys enjoyed this video or learned something or whatever like i just needed to get that off my chest so yeah hope you guys have a good day or night